this is Bree from Clay County Conservation Board. I am your naturalist. Uh, today we're going to do something a little different. Uh, I am uh, actually f um, at home uh, due to the situation. So uh, we're going to kind of do a little bit of different stuff throughout the week. Uh, I am um, on a trail system that is open to the public uh, just kind of south of my house. And um, what's really cool about this trail system is that there is a lot of native um, things that we can discover today. So uh, I encourage you to go out into your backyard and figure out what you can discover as well. Uh, two things that I noticed here on uh, my little um, social distancing outdoor uh, time is um, some seats. Now, uh, seeds are just starting to blossom or bloom um, in the springtime. Uh, they're slowly uh, waking up from dormant, which is a type of hibernation for plants. And then they kind of um, wake up and they become beautiful in the next few months or weeks. Just depends on how uh how warm we have and um how much sunshine we have all right one plant here is uh the milkweed and milkweeds their seed pods are really beautiful in the um in the summertime but what they do they kind of dry up or it looks like a form of dry up and they split open um with the seed pods and inside the seed pods are seeds now seeds don't have legs they can't get around like we can we can get around with a car truck uh, airplane uh, boat snowmobile ATV whatever it is uh, we can get around or our two legs so seeds they don't have two legs they can't hop on a four-wheeler or uh, a snowmobile wouldn't it be pretty funny if you saw a seed ride in a snowmobile that'd be goofy but anyways you can see that the um the milkweed is the seed pods and as you uh as i was talking here as i let go of the seed pods as you can see it's moving so what type of seed dispersal are we looking right here? What type of seed dispersal? If you said wind, you are correct. So how seeds, some seeds move is through the wind. Now it's fairly windy out here today. Uh, not too windy, but it is. And if it's floating out into the wind, of course, wherever it lands, it will make a home and start growing. So if you ever wondered, how you got that plant there in your backyard you didn't you didn't plant it you could think of the wind and another way uh, we're gonna pull it a little closer if i can and not mess it up is the tree behind me oh the tree oh, don't want to make you too dizzy all right so the tree behind me it is uh, cottonwood or maple. I see a lot of leaves here. Here is a maple tree or maple leaf, sorry. Maple leaf and I also found a cottonwood leaf as well. So Samaras or Samaras, wherever you are from, you call it this. Uh, let me get some down here. So tomorrow's or helicopter seeds or helicopter plants, um, those, these are called Samaras and they are a type of seed for different, for different trees, for, um, for birch trees, for maple trees, for, um, for all variety of trees, but these are called Samara or Samara, wherever you are from, you call it this. But what's cool, this is another seed dispersal. And this is actually called a, it is a fruit, which I just learned that today. But, uh, so if you float down in the wind, it floats like a helicopter. So I want you to figure out if you have any Samaras in your backyard, a Samara tree or 
or maple tree or Samara seeds in your backyard and figure out if you have some in if they are um, still in the tree maybe you can maybe your family can help you pick just one don't pick all of them just one so you can float in the wind so wind is another another seed dispersal and that that is a di seed uh, dispersal that is how seeds move is one way is through the wind and as I travel on the trail behind my house um, on the public trail behind the house or behind my house uh, I will stop and talk about different types of seeds and seed dispersals. So the first type is the uh, wind dispersal. All right, guys, you have a good rest of the day and social distance outside and explore outside in your backyard and look at the beauty. This is a perfect time in the springtime to get out and about with your family and figure out what you have. Have a good rest of the day. We will see you guys later.